Hey, what's up, y'all? How you guys been? I hope you guys been doing well. But if you guys had a rough time, a rough week, or whatever, any circumstances that just got you all bobbleheading, like, whoa, what's up? Trip no mo, because I got some steps for you guys to go ahead and put that armor on so you guys can come and fight with me. And it's all going to be good. Don't even trip. All right, y'all. So the verse we're going to be reading today is Ephesians chapter 6, verses 12 to 17. So... Verse 12 says, for our struggles is not against flesh and blood, against people, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Ooh, yeah, that means demons. That means, you know what I mean? All that stuff we can't see, all that. You guys believe in, 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 uh, in ghosts and spirits and all that? Yeah, it's real to an extent. And guess what? They're out to get you and they're ready for you. Like, oh, that's all scary. Yo, what can I do? Verse 13, therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. Mm -hmm. Now, notice how it says the day of evil. The day of evil doesn't mean like some day that's going to come. The day of evil means the now. These days now, come on now, we live in some evil world. Look at all this stuff happening to kids. Then, I mean... We living in the evil days now, so please don't get it twisted. Don't think you got time to prepare because you don't. Hmm. So last week we talked about the weapons to fight these demons and principalities off, right? So today we're going to talk about the armor, what we wear to war. So number one, verse 14, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. What is the truth? The truth is the Bible. The truth is God, right? God wrote the Bible for us to know the truth and so we're able to use it to fight off anything and everybody that tries to come against him. So if you know the knowledge, you know the Bible, not just like I said before, just little verses here and there just to say, oh, I know him, John 3, 16. That's just something that everybody knows. It, it, people put it in, their, in the food trucks. It's like the most common verse. But what else do you know? And not only do you know the verse, are you living the verse? The knowledge with the book of knowledge, we're able to fight off all these fakes coming at us like womp, 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 womp. Back up off me. Huh. Now, the second armor, it goes on by saying, still on in verse 14, with the breastplate of righteousness in place. A breastplate of armor. Where, where, where's the breast? It was right here, our heart. That is the one thing that really Satan goes for the most. Why? Because our feelings are there. Now, you know what? We're the sweet suckers for, I feel like, and I feel like, I feel, I feel, I feel. And feelings are not real. Emotions are not real. Your heart will deceive you more than anything. So please, and Satan knows this, so he's trying to get it. He's trying to get that heart. And he, you know, have you ever just felt good? And you get in your car, and all of a sudden it's like, huh, well, you know what? What was he watching last night on his phone? Well, you know what? What was she doing? Well, you know what? Uh, or uh, or my favorite one. When people wake up in the morning and be like, I had a dream. Well, really, it was a nightmare that you cheated on me. That was not you. That was Satan. Why? Because you're weak and he got it in you. And now he's probably put all this stuff on you so you can just look at your husband, your wife, like, mm hmm sideways. The next thing you know, you're getting divorced, you're fighting, you ain't paying attention to your kids, and you're so consumed, you become FBI real quick, huh? Just look, make fake pages, ah! to try to do detective work. You do all this stuff, but you just not even open your Bible. Just be, Lord, speak to me. What can I do? And you get your answer right there and then. But you go through all this stuff, and it's a what if, what if, when they didn't even know what if there. Looking just foolish, like, ugh. Also, what this means is love was right and hate was wrong. And the more you get into the word, the more you let God into your heart, automatically, automatically. There's so many people how to cut off and they don't even know they're cut off. Oh, but they're cut off. I don't have to announce it. Cut you off and you off. And you, no, just knowing your heart. That doesn't mean that you can't say hi and bye. But you don't sit there and and and, and spend so much time with them that you be, be uh, start doing what they do, because every we all do that. You know when you spend a lot of time around friends, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your parents, you start talking like them, you start acting like them. So the same thing with people who are not of God, and if you're of God, 
darkness and light cannot mix. They just cannot mix. So whether you like it or not, you're going to be like, mm, I just can't be around this person. Like, ah, please. Verse 15. And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Hmm. With your feet fitted. Get you them nice. Forget about them Jordans and Arachis or Srirachas. <laughs> Whatever it is. Forget about them. Get you these good, good fitted sneakers ready for this battle. That means, look, I know sometimes being a Christian, being a child of God, sometimes seems like it's boring. Seems like, yo, well, there's so much going on over here. So like everybody just turning up, boop, boop. And then people over here just, oh, you know, Satan knows we like colors and we like lights and blah, 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 blah. So we look, oh, what's over there? What's over there? Nah, what's over here? Jesus. And it's fine because, and you'll find out if you've been through this before, you get so distracted with what's over here, what do they have? Well, how come I don't got it? And I want to do this too, and I want to do that too, and da, 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 da. And then you go do it, and you end up being in the worst position that you were in the first place. But if you just like, you know what, it's cool. That ain't for me. Let me stay right here. That's why they do that to horses. So that when they're, they're running that race, that way they don't get distracted. Keep your eyes forward. Don't worry about where this horse is going, if he's before you or after you. You worry about where you going. Same thing. Put him on. Don't let nobody distract you. Don't let nobody or anything distract you of what you got to do. Keep that focus in God. And you will always prevail. For this battle, above all, this is the most important. Above all, take up the shield of faith. The shield of faith, baby. Uh, uh, what, uh, uh, take up with the shield of faith, which you can extinguish all flaming arrows of the evil one. Just picture this. There is literally demons all over. But if you're not suiting up with the full armor and there's demons right here waiting on you, they're everywhere. In the light pose, just check and be like, oh, oh, look, he ain't wearing this. Literally getting, throwing shots at you. And if you're not ready, like I said, you know, they'll, they'll shoot you with uh, discouragement. All of a sudden, you're feeling good, confident, and then you feel like, but what if I can't do this? What if I'm not good enough? Or jealousy. Ooh, that's a big one. People just go crazy for that jealousy. It could be any anything that Satan knows you're weak for. So you got to stay suited. Don't give him any clean shots. Don't. Protect yourself. And, and these, uh, trust me, they're everywhere. From your kids, your husband, your jobs, your teachers, your everything, everything. Politicians, your own parents. Oh man, and that's that thing. We are fighting, like it says here, we're not fighting against our own flesh. We're fighting principalities. They're making us think that it's your nagging uh, wife and, and, and boss. They're making us think that it's that it's your kids, but it's not. They're just using them and they're using you and you're letting them. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. That's what it says above all, because without this one, everything else kind of crumbles. You can't do the rest without faith. And what is faith? That is believing that God is who he says he is, that he will do what he says he will do, and that without a shadow of a doubt, you know that he is the only way, the truth, for you to have eternal life. Now, let me ask you this. Do you believe? Do you have faith? Or is it just depending on your circumstance? Because when everything is going good, it's like, oh, yes, God is so good. Oh, yes, God, 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 God. But when stuff is going bad, you're like, he must have forgot about me. Oh, he don't love me. Why did he let me do this? Why did he let me do that? And a lot of times it's the stuff that we reap what we sow. When you reap what you sow, when you when you plant a seed, it's not going to grow overnight. It's not going to grow right there. It takes months, years. So when we do something, we, we expect to pay for it right there and then. And that's not the case. You might be doing good. You might have changed your life, but you're still going to reap what you sow. So guess what? Remember that. You did this to yourself. Don't be blaming God for your for your junk. You did this. Stop having a pity party. Grow up. Take accountability for the things that you have done and fix and make them right. Ask God, Lord, you know what? I'm sorry. 
make it right. Verse 17, take the helmet uh, helmet of salvation to the helmet of salvation. Now, like I just said now, Satan loves to get in here, right? But he also loves getting in here. When you sit there and meditate on the lies of the devil, just meditating. In other words, when you're worrying and you're stressing about a situation, that means you don't have faith in God. That means you don't trust him. So now Satan has it where you want. And now you're just meditating and obsessing over this. The things that you can't change, regardless if you worry or not, you can't change anything. But you, there you are sitting, just tripping over it, tripping over it. Uh, uh, uh. And if Satan can control your mind, he got you and he knows it. So that's what people say. Don't worry about a situation you can't change. Leave it to God. Leave it to God, dude. If now you're leaving it to Satan and now he has one way out. And we all know what that is, right? Be a warrior, not a warrior. And last but not least, sword of the spirit and what the sword of the spirit is is the bible like i said guys learn it it's hard to understand i know read it once read it again and the more you read it the more you understand and the more you will appreciate what it says you got to be ready with that sword you know like them old kung fu movies when they just bring up a, a, a sword they're like wah, 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 wah. the person's still trying to fight next thing you know they're like come on, come on. just slice that up just cut up that's what you got to be. You got to be quick with it. Not like, wait, hold on. Let me see. Uh, uh, nah, 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 nah. People say this. Wah. People say that. Wah. People say that. Yeah. Get him. Get him. Get him. Mm. Now, notice how it doesn't say. Now, go ahead and go home and chill now and take off your shoes and take off the helmet. and take. It don't say take nothing off. You don't take it off. You keep that sucker on. You keep it on. Only when you're face to face with Jesus. You say, you know... You take it off. Until then, you, you better stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Only then, when you're face to face, can you be that ease soldier. Only then. But until then, it's game time, baby. Let's get out there and get them. Huh, huh, go on. And remember, guys, it doesn't matter how long you've been living this life of deception and lies. It doesn't matter what you've done or how you've done it. Because trust me, there is things that I've done in my life that I am so absolutely ashamed of but that don't matter no more i left that behind me so it doesn't matter you can get your life back you can get your marriage back get your kids back get your home your job get yourself back be victorious you can do it, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how long have you been messed up your whole life let today be the day that changes everything be victorious be like yo I made it out that dark hole. Now look at me. Shining like a diamond, baby. Shine bright like a diamond. So again, if Satan is in your home, if Satan is in your work, if Satan is anywhere, invite God in with love. And that hate that Satan wants, leave it out the door. Break him down with love and kindness. And trust me, it's hard. And, and, and you're going to feel silly at first. And you're going to feel like... Like, oh, I don't want them to win this this argument. But guess what? They ain't winning this argument. Baby, you are. You're going to be the one on top. Like, yes. And it's not even so much to have that victory that you're the bigger person. But, but while you're doing this, your spouse, your kids, your boss, if you keep coming at you with hate, but all you do is giving them love, love, love. Other words, God. You will also change them. And how great to be part of someone's change. How amazing. What a reward to know that because of your actions, you've made that person better. Because of your actions, you saved that person's life. Let people see God through you. Let them. Let them shine out. Because I'll tell you right now. Oh, man. If you go to my social medias, I know people are probably like, ugh, cannot stand it. But guess what? Hmm, I love it. And I love him. And I will continue to always rep him. That's what y'all got to do. Y'all, A lot of people are too worried about what, what if I'm not cool? People are going to think I'm just a, a Bible thumper. What, people can think whatever they want from about me. Even when I was out there in the world, people thought things that weren't true. So now that I'm living right, they want to think things that are not true. Go ahead. Please do. I don't care. You get to know me, then you know. You're like, wow. Especially if you need the old me. You can see it. And I only strive to be better, be a more... A better a woman of God, a, a better mother, a better wife, a, a better person, period. 
So come on, guys. If you're having a hard time, just please put this armor on and get the fighting. And you'll see. He will leave. What? Uh-huh. What? What? All right, guys. Till next time. Bye.